On Thursday, panelist on Fox News' The Five rushed to cut off Jesse Waters after he pondered whether Vice President Kamala Harris was having a, quote, typical female problem. The remark came during a discussion about Harris claiming that she felt she was struggling to escape the D.C. bubble, which prompted Waters to accuse her of not feeling grateful enough for the position she's in. Take a look at the Fox News clip. Well, she's sure. acting like a tourist. You know when tourists get to a new place, they're like, it's a lot of traffic here. Like, I miss my mom. <laughs> Like, my ATM doesn't work. Like, oh, man, it's, the traffic signs are confusing. This is America. What do you mean? This is a D.C. bubble. She has her jet. She has a chef. Yep. She can move mountains if she wants to affect policy. Right. I like that bubble. That's a cozy bubble. I wouldn't try to get out of that bubble. And I'm sorry to say this, but many people are saying this. I'm not saying this, but many people are saying that this sounds like a typical female problem. Oh, oh, she's talking. Jesse. I'm not saying that. I'm so saying been... this is what people are telling me. They say the first female vice president comes in there oh, and every single better. art and okay. every single article <laughs> you don't want to hear is them. about her feelings. She feels this way. She feels sad. She feels stop it, Jesse. She chose this stop job. It. She ran stop for it. president. Jesse. She said yes Jesse, to VP. Stop. And every article okay, is Okay, Dana, she's would you like sad. to cut them off? <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Part of that is the media. Yeah. Right, because the media want they know that we, that you get clicks if you want to if you want to read about that. So that's partly that. Um, she Politico reports that Kamala Harris had confided her struggle to some of the most influential Black women in America last month. One of which was Ebony Riley, a senior vice president at the National Action Network, who said she said she was zoomed out. She would love to be in person engaging. Harris was receptive to suggestions. She built more public events and town halls into her schedule. She also indicated that she sees the wisdom of better explaining not just the complexities of her policy portfolio, but also her approach to the job of vice president with its often shifting tasks. She recognized the potential rewards of sharing more about herself, and she agreed all of that can be harder to do while stuck in D.C. You get cabin fever when you're in Washington, D.C. You feel stuffed between that 1.5-mile distance from the Capitol to the White House, said Donna Brazile, an ally of the White House who is part of a loose, unofficial network of Harris confidants that acts as a sounding board for her. D.C. is a great backdrop, but it's not the only backdrop. Sometimes you have to be in someone's backyard to have a better picture, she said. That being said, Harris headed to Honduras on Thursday for the first inauguration of the first woman to win the presidency, Xiomara Castro, who the U.S. is banking on to help stem corruption and get to the root cause of migration. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw, too.